stole the peacock's feathers. Someone's head at the octopus. Someone else striped the zebra. When there's a strange crime in the zoo, and you're looking for a clue, you'll always find him right on track. Sherlock Yak. Sherlock Yak. With Hermione right by his side. The bad guys just can't hide. If you get lost, he'll get you back. Sherlock Yak. All the dreams and all the He's dope. mean and mean, and he's no fool. And he's way double cool. He won't stand for no yakety yak. Sherlock Yak. I'm on the go. Will you find out before Sherlock? Who knocked out Sherlock? Checkmate. No, oh, this time I almost beat you, Sherlock. Just almost, dear doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Same time next week? Yes, and I'll checkmate you then. You say that every time, my friend. I'll beat you one day, Sherlock. <laughs> hmm? Huh? Is someone there? What is it? Oh. Oh. Sherlock? Sherlock! Ah, oh, finally! Oh. oh! Where am I? In the infirmary, my friend. There. You were attacked. Do you remember anything? Well, uh, I walked under a tree, someone took my hat, and then nothing. Mm. A blunt object came into violent contact with your cranial cavity. Hmm? You were knocked out. A little strange just to get a hat. It's not just a hat. It's the symbol of my authority. A physical attack in the middle of an electoral campaign. It's a scandal we have to investigate. You're right. I have to find the criminal and my hat. Come on, Hermione. Oh. Ah. Well, I'm prescribing complete bed rest. You have to get over this trauma, my friend. I can't rest in bed. I have to go over the crime scene carefully. Otherwise, the clues will disappear. Don't worry, Sherlock. I think modern technology can give us a hand. Yes? It's me. Can you see me all right? Perfectly. Fine. I'll give you all the information I gather as soon as I find something, just as if you were investigating right along with me. Tremendous. I have nothing to do then? No, just relax. As a matter of fact, there's some really nice games on that telephone. Games? Yes, some very fun games. You can get hooked easily. Come now. That's enough, young disciple. You've been playing with your yo-yo for ten days straight. But, Master... I've never been hooked on anything in my life. Go ahead. I declare the investigation open. Fine. I'll call you as soon as I'm at the crime scene. I recognize them perfectly. They belong to the White Zebu. <gasps> there, I've just found something else. Okapi's glasses. And there are some Brazil nutshells. That's right. Those wild little guinea pigs are always munching on them. And this, huh. Sherlock? Well, that, well, those are claw marks. They're recent, but I don't know who could have made them. So we have three suspects, Zebu, Okapi, and the guinea pigs. I'll go interrogate them. Perfect. Let me know how it goes. So you have some questions to ask me? Yes. Sherlock oh. was knocked out by someone. He's investigating, but on remote. Can I put you in contact with him? No problem. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Hello? Ha. Ah, good morning, Zebu. So, Sherlock, someone knocked you out? <laughs> that's terrible. Right. And we found some of your hoof prints at the crime scene. Hmm, that's normal. I'm campaigning to get elected against you as the zoo director, so I'm going all over the zoo. <laughs> and I've actually gained two points in the polls, you know. I know. For the time being, I'm still ahead. <laughs> of course, you're manipulating public opinion. This alleged aggression is another maneuver to make your popularity grow. Think what you want, my friend. We'll speak about it after the election. Good luck. What an oaf. Hmm. 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 Ah. Ah. Hello, Sherlock. 
Are you feeling better? Yes, uh, I'm, uh, still a little weak. Oh, poor thing, that's normal. You just rest. I can handle it. I'm off to interrogate the guinea pigs. All right. <laughs> Sherlock, you architect! We didn't do it! <laughs> but you left a bunch of nutshells around the tree where the crime took place. <laughs> You mean it's against the rules to go under that tree? What does this do, a jail? No, it's not against the rules. Were you there last night, for example? We were there in the afternoon. We rest over there in the shade. Come to think of it, Miss Inspector might like a drink. Than Sherlock, he confiscated our quad. That's so unfair. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true, true, dude. Mm -hmm. Yes, I confiscated their uh, noise-making motorcycle. They were bothering everybody by driving it around like maniacs. Oh, okay. Here are the pictures I took. So interesting. Yes, very. But I have to leave you now. It's time for um, uh, uh, my vitamins. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. <laughs> Hello, a copy. Huh? Oh, Mrs. Hippo, what a nice surprise. Uh, no, it's me, Hermione. Oops, sorry. Without my glasses, I can't see a thing. You mean these glasses? Oh, you found them. Where were they? Under a tree, right where someone knocked out Sherlock. Maybe it was you. Oh, even if Sherlock mows the lawns at the zoo without worrying about the floor he might be destroying, I still believe in non-violence, cousin. I'd still like to know what your glasses were doing over there. It's very simple. Just a second. Hmm? Mm. Here. Hmm. It's an Eschaltia californica. There, it only grows oh. under that tree. I picked it over there in the afternoon, right where the petals were opening. After that, I came back home. I can't see a thing at night. <sighs> Thanks for the information, Akapi. No problem, cousin. Sherlock, I thought you weren't hooked on anything. I'm not hooked, Hermione. I'm just curious. I want to understand why so many people like this type of game. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. In the meantime, the investigation has stalled. A copy went under that tree to find this flower, but it was during the day. He can't see a thing at night. Don't worry, Hermione. You led the investigation very well. It's not at all stalled because I know who the culprit is. What about you, young detective? Do you have the solution? If you paid close attention, I'm sure you can figure it out. Let's go over the case. I was bumped on the head in the zoo last night. First, someone stole my hat. The investigation found three suspects. So which one is the culprit? The white zebu, the guinea pigs, or the okapi? Actually, the case is simple. White Zebu, you want to become zoo director in my place. You could have knocked me out to get me out of the race, but you would probably have made noise on the gravel as you approached me. Sure, without a doubt. Oh, copy? Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'm listening, cousin. You have a grudge against me for cutting your precious plants when I have the zoo lawn mode, but you can't see a thing at night. You couldn't have knocked me out in the middle of the night. Absolutely not, cousin. As for you, guinea pigs, how could you possibly knock out someone like me considering your small size? <clears throat> but the criminal had to approach me to take my hat and hit me behind the head. If he didn't walk on the gravel, it's maybe because he went through the air. 
Right, guinea pigs? Because the culprits are you. Huh? Oh, no way, that's not true. And yet, with great agility and leaving claw marks on the trunk, you climbed the tree. You leaped into the void to steal my hat. But your aim was low, and you hit me when you swung back. It wasn't me, mister. He didn't mean huh? right. That's not true, you snitch. <gasps> That's enough, boys. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh. Mm. I didn't know you were a yo-yo champion. You don't know everything about me, Hermione. We didn't want to knock you out, mister. We just wanted to nab your hat. It wasn't cool to confiscate our quad. Please, Sherlock, don't take our climbing equipment away. Don't you worry. I have a much better idea. A punishment to teach you how to respect your elders. Yeah! This is great! I want to do it again. Huh? Again? You already did it 12 times. Sherlock said I could do it as much as I wanted, and that'll make 13. Uh, uh, yeah! <laughs> Hello, Sherlock. Look what the hamsters gave me back. Ah, my hat. Without it, my mind isn't quite as clear, you know. But now I feel in great shape. Perfect. We'll follow the next investigation together, right? Can you give me back my phone? Wait, uh... Not so fast. Dr. Beaky said I should rest. I'd rather keep your electronic contraption. You never know, in case we have to work long distance again. Mm, I see. Well, rest well, Sherlock. Great! Yahoo! I got through the first mm. level. Who's the best? Who's the strongest? Who's the handsomest? It's Sherlock! <laughs> <laughs>